Mongoose Jake here with a unboxing and quick review of the Busby Air Warriors Lightmaster 2-pack. Now, this is the exact same blaster as the Adventure Force Night Attack, just simply sold directly under the Busby branding. This is available through Kmart and other places. I did pick mine up locally at my Kmart for a retail price of $24.99. This is a different color scheme, but otherwise it's it's the same blaster, just available as a two pack, including the darts, two magazines, two blasters, two lights, and it's functionally the same thing. It's the same molding. Instead of night attack, it says light master. So what is it? Is it worth it? And how does it perform? Well, I've already reviewed the night attack and I've even modded some of them. I love the blaster. It's a fantastic thing. So it comes down and I will put up just so for those of you who aren't familiar with the blaster and haven't watched it on my channel before, I'll put a picture of it up right here and edit it in. So check that out right now. Okay, coming back, you see mainly the color difference is the biggest thing. The bright green of the night attack from the Adventure Force line is here replaced by personal opinion here, a more attractive blue with gray, black, green, and white accents, of course, and then the orange, the orange muzzle, mag release, and trigger. I think this color scheme is nicer. Personal choice. The retail price of $25 for two of them is not a bad deal because that's $12.50 each. That compares to $10 for the Adventure Force version, so it's neither good nor bad. You know, one way or the other. Now, if you want two and you like the blue and you don't want to paint, this is the way to go. Because the green, the green of the Adventure Force version is going to be definitely a love it or hate it kind of thing. I'm not the biggest fan of the green. I like the blue way better. I, I wouldn't actually paint these at all. I'm going to keep these as they are. And I think they actually look really good. The, the Adventure Force one is what I would buy to customize and paint because you know, they're $2.50 cheaper. These claim a 100-foot range. They use the same internals as all the Busby Blasters, like the Tactical Storm, the Interceptor, the previous generation, the Champion, the Reaper, and they actually can and do hit that with angled shots at maximum range with perfect conditions, no wind. And I'm going to get back to doing some range tests, and I will show that. Because out here in the upcoming week or two, you're going to see a bunch of range tests show up on, on my channel. Everybody seems to love them, and I like doing them. Getting down to what do you get? You get the two blasters, two magazines, and a total of 16 suction darts and four long distance darts. So two blasters, two magazines, 20 darts. That's not a bad deal for a grand total of $25. Keep that in mind, $25. That is the retail price of the Nerf Retaliator and the Nerf uh, Delta Trooper that came out kind of as a replacement or addition to the Retaliator is even more. So for literally for the price of one Retaliator, you got two blasters that perform better than the Retaliator. Now, why haven't I unboxed it to show you that? Because I've already used the same blaster many, many times and love it. But we will go ahead and get this thing out of the package and I'll do that real quick with a time lapse. Okay, so we have everything out. We got our darts, we got our magazines, two blasters. Now I'm going to show you how these actually operate. Now I'll fire a few darts over the rear deck like I have done in the past. And of course, these are eight round magazines. So we'll go ahead and throw in a few of the suction cut darts. And then I'll throw in some of the long distance darts. The suction cut darts actually aren't bad darts. They uh, have decent accuracy. They're a little lacking on the performance compared to the long distance darts, but they do have decent accuracy so they're good balance but get some darts loaded up then you simply prime this back and for those of you who actually are interested in the light that 
takes a couple of batteries in it. It only works when it's actually on a Busby blaster. It has a uh, little button, and of course, then I have to remove this little bit here. I hadn't bothered with it because I wasn't going to feature this just yet because I did that back back when on my Nidus hack review and it's a neat light and I even showcased it in a, a comparison between Nerf lights and Busby lights but you go ahead and pop that open with a Phillips go ahead and pop that open with a Phillips screwdriver put a couple of double A's in it I do believe it is let's double check real quick yes yeah, two double A's that's what I thought going by memory but pop that in and it can turn on and off with the little button here and it actually works pretty good now pull that back insert the magazine make sure it's slammed home slide your pump grip forward and you're ready to fire it's not too big of a blaster the grip is a little small for an adult hand and some people are going to take offense to that but for me I don't find it too bad. I have a extra large size hand when it comes to gloves. I have to wear 1X or 2X, but I don't find it to be too bad. So we're gonna take a couple shots off the back deck. And okay, now as always, that holly tree is about 65 to 70 feet away to the trunk. And I will fire a couple of level shots and then I'm gonna fire a few angled up. Actually, I know I've got my long distance darts first, so let's throw one angled way up. Don't even know where that went. It curved around the holly tree and went behind it. Oh, that's in the tree. Let's try another one. Okay, that, that probably hit 80 or 90. Let's try level shots here with the suction cup darts. Okay, that's that's definitely, it went out, it went out to the right and fell, but it looks like roughly even. So level shots are hitting 60 70 ish because that's again falling about equal with the trunk let's go again that's nice now let's angle angle up oh that, that easily went 80 85 that's let's see if i got one more left nope that's it so again as always the solid performance of a busby blaster that is the light master two pack from busby again the solid Busby performance is always with packed up by backed up by a great value in two blasters for $25 with two magazines, 20 darts. That's actually, since these are eight round magazines, that's enough to fill both magazines. Plus I have a couple spare in case you lose a couple, I guess. But as always, I am 100% a Busby fan. I like what they do. That's $12.50 per blaster. That is an incredible deal when you compare it to the competition. And for me personally, I'm going to highly recommend this. This becomes a personal preference because you can buy it individually as the Adventure Force Night Attack, which again, I'll put that picture up right now. Come back. Now, after taking a look at that, now for the second time, take a look at this. You can see it's personal preference on color. I like these, but you do have to buy the two pack to get this. This is, as of the time of me filming this, this is not available as an individual blaster. Come on, Busby, I wish it was, because these look nice. Just, just saying. But a fantastic uh, way of getting yourself and a, a friend a couple of blasters to have some fun in the backyard, or if you're a, a parent wanting to buy for a couple of kids, this is way more cost effective than buying Nerf. The only other uh, option I would say would be uh, pistols maybe but this gives you more power and it's fun to use magazines you know it's just more more hands-on than just a front-loading pistol so this is a nice option plus then if you can buy extra magazines and this does accept nerf magazines and even nerf drums yes i have tested it with that the united attack does and this is the same mold so you can actually use like a 25 round nerf drum in this which makes it a lot of fun but I fully recommend it. I will put a link to the Kmart's website where you can get your own and check that out in the description below. And I have literally no complaints with this thing other than to nitpick, grip might be a little small, but it's not horribly so. So otherwise, I'm gonna give the thing a 10 out of 10. It's one of my favorite blasters currently on the market. That, the Interceptor and the Tactical Storm are among my favorites on the market along with the monorail. 
So I really have very little complaints. I even love, love these to modify and customize myself personally. It's just a great blaster all around for a very good deal. Can't recommend it enough, either whether you get this version with this paint job or the Adventure Force version for the single one in the green. Again, I've showed that a couple times, and I'll even put a link to that one in the description below if you prefer the green. But that's available through Walmart. This is on this version. But thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.